I've had a chance to use this thing a few times in the last week and I gotta say I don't hate it. Uh, it's actually worked really well. It's, uh, it's a collapsible reflector oven. Gets down pretty thin here on the edges. Uh, when I was building it I sort of wasn't thinking if I were to do it again I'd offset these hinges a little bit so they didn't touch each other and it'd be a little more compact on the edges where the hinges go but uh, I got the plans online from uh, Svant Frieden or something he's it's the Swedish reflector oven he makes them and sells them but he also uh, makes the plans available for free and uh, so I used the plans uh, cut cut my metal exactly to the dimensions and uh, I didn't exactly follow his directions, but I, fo <laughs> I followed his dimensions and uh, I made it out of aluminum flashing. So I got $10 worth of aluminum flashing, but another $10 worth of little hinges from the hobby store and you know, a couple bucks worth of rivets or what have you. And it's, it's really effective. Uh, we were using it, we used it as a warming oven the other day. Uh, we were making pancakes and to keep the the done pancakes hot while we made more pancakes I just threw them in the little oven over here and man I mean they were screaming hot when it was time to eat them so that worked really nice uh, then we baked some pizzas and uh, made a blueberry I, I mean it was blueberry muffin mix but I just made it into a blueberry cake I guess and, and I mean that was golden brown on top and bottom fluffy in the middle you know way better than steam baking for sure and uh, I've got I tried last year and it wasn't true Dutch oven cooking or anything but you know the coals on top of a lid and, and uh, for me it was better than the coals on top of a lid um, like a f fry bake or Banks fry bake thing or like a Dutch oven, um, but that's uh, probably a function of uh, my experience with with that, you know, knowing how to do that well. This is a little easier to do because, well, you look right inside and you can see: is it burning? Is it cooking? Do you need your flames higher or hotter? Um, it, it just pops up like that. Push the back out, and uh, I use one of these little paper clips on it. And uh, now the way it's designed, you got these rods that the pot is going to sit on, or the, the pan is going to sit on. And uh, this is where I differ from his directions a little bit. You can, you can use whatever you think is effective for sitting your pot on that's not going to bend. I don't know if a coat hanger would be strong enough. I happen to get these sticks from uh, Purcell Trench Company. Uh, they, I mean, they're, they're great. They, they're everything I wanted them to be, and uh, they work good. But because of the way those are, and it's, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's flimsy, because it's, uh, what do you call that? That flashing material. So I had to use these little, uh, little clips, and I just set them on, you know, put them on the inside, The four corners. There. Now, I mean, that's it. Um, the back you do have to prop up. I was using stones, I've used a piece of wood, what have you. You just prop that up a couple inches so that this surface is level. And then uh, you get a fire in front and you try to keep the flames about as high as the front of the thing here. And uh, you know your, your baking times are just about as printed on the thing. You know you can get closer or further from the flames if you need it hotter or cooler. And uh, it was just stupid simple and it worked beautifully. Again 
This thing weighs about 10 ounces, I think, even with the rods and all that stuff. And uh, the production model that uh, the Swedish guy makes is uh, unquestionably <laughs> better built. He's got a handle on top so you can take it away from the flames. You could turn the pot if you needed to and put it back on. I mean, it's, it's light years better than this thing. But uh, I'm getting a little reverb off it. But still, for cheap and effective, this, I'm really stoked at how well this thing worked. So, reflector oven gives a thumbs up. Uh, obviously, you're probably not going to tote this around with your backpack, and even though it, it only weighs 10 ounces, it's a little bulky. Um, but we've been canoe camping, and, and the bulk is not an issue, neither is weight. So, it's been super for that. Uh, well, that's it. Thanks for checking in and uh, build yourself one of these. I'll, I'll put up a link to uh, his website or the plans and uh, you won't regret it. It's a, it's a great oven. Well you can see we've got the the pan sitting inside the oven now and we're cooking we're baking coffee cake this morning. We're using the professor's uh, log cabin mix yeah, which I, I sort of use for everything. Ever since uh, he sent me that uh, log cabin mix cookbook, we make all kinds of stuff out of that. So, again, thank you to the professor for the providing the cookbook. And um, this is just a little shot of the reflector oven in, in action.